All right, now let's talk about adding patients into Pronto. There's two ways you can do this. First, by clicking on dashboard, add new patient, and then patient. This will take you to the new patient form. Second way, click on patient, new patient. Let's get started. Let me go back to dashboard, add new patient, patient. Now let's add a new patient into the system. Let's say Carol Pelletier. Carol is an inpatient. Room number 200. Carol's address, residence address is 11 Canal Street. And Munster. Indiana. Oh. Monster, Indiana. Four six three two one. Input the country telephone number. Let's just add telephone number four. Cell phone number. Maybe it's just a different cell phone number. And the email. Carol P at AOL two dot com. And you can add comment into the section. And scroll down, you'll see secondary contact. Secondary contact, this is where you enter the patient's clinical staff information. This is your wound nurse, wound manager, DON, ADON, supply manager, or purchasing agent for the facility. Anyone listed in the secondary contact will be in receipt of the notification from Pronto. Again, it's very important to add an email address into the secondary contact. Let's just add nurse Jackie wounds nurse phone number and it says nurse Jackie at wounds.com. That's her email. And scroll up. Uh, don't pay attention to this um, same address as the patient or different address the patient. That's okay. And then here, let's go down to facility. Facility, if you click on a drop down box, if the facility already existed or we already done business with the facility, it will be listed under the drop down box or the selection of facilities. But if not, you can add a new facility. Let's just add a new facility here. It says Smithfield. Nope. Let's do Boston Hospital or Boston Nursing. Home. It's a made up name. Boston 02432. And you're going to add contact if you have a contact there. Let's say John. Telephone number 617. 656-5555 cell phone fax number if you want to add the fax number and the email it says john at boston nursing .com. scroll down add new facility now patient carol is now associated with the facility boston nursing home scroll down you'll see the pump it'll ask you what pump you're going to deliver to this patient let's just say hello mini one four five six you can add a comment and then scroll down say choose which canister to send scroll down again and choose which dressing and what size and then on the comment section on this part is you can add let's say if you end up sending an extra drape or a dome to the patient uh, just added like sent extra says sent two extra drapes on let's say it's like that so and then maybe you can put like initial so people know who made that comment and scroll down it will take you to dressing schedule 
dressing schedule is where you um, this is how your system is going to work and how you're going to schedule everything and the notification so let's just do a start date usually I like to do the start date as in the delivery date when the patient is going to get the equipment or the dressings and say today is the 29th and I'll say tomorrow they'll receive the product number of weeks of supplies whether you can do one week two weeks three weeks or four weeks I'll do one week you notice it'll be one canister and three dressings. If you do two, it'll be two canisters, six dressings. Three, three canisters, nine dressings. Then four will be four canisters and 12 dressings. Let's talk about frequency. This is the, the, how many times they're going to do a dressing change per week. And from what we gather, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is usually the dressing change, uh, the days that they do the wound dressing change on the facility. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But this can change. Different different facilities have their own protocol. But you can change this if you want. Just in case, let's say you have a facility that do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. You can do it that way. But right now, I'm gonna leave it to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And you scroll down, you'll see shipping. This is if you're using UPS, FedEx, USPS uh, to deliver your products, and you can add the UPS here and the day it is going to ship and the tracking number and also again you can add a comment if you want to put a comment and then just click on add new patient and that's it carol grimes carol grimes and i mean carol pelletier is now in the system let's just look at the dashboard and add a supply dashboard we don't see anyone there we don't have any patients with add a supply we don't have a patient who are low on supplies but we do have patients who are recently refilled. These are new patients that we just added. We have Daryl Dixon, Maggie Green, Carl Grimes, Rick Grimes, and Carol Pelletier. These are all the start the starter service dates that we sent them. And that's it. That's how easy it is to enter a patient into Pronto. Thank you and have a good day.